The intermediate pressure system begins at the regulated cylinder supply pressure of 45 psi and also includes the pipeline source at 50 to 55 psi and extends till the flow control valve. It consists of pipeline inlet connection. Pipeline pressure indicator or gauge. Piping. Gas power outlet which is not present on latest machines. Master switch. Oxygen failure safety device. Oxygen flush. And flow control valves. Pipeline inlet connection is entry point for gases from the pipeline supply. The anesthesia workstation standard requires pipeline inlet connection for oxygen and nitrous oxide. Most machine also have inlet connection for air. These connections are fitted with threaded non-interchangeable connection called diameter index safety system. This system consists of a body, nipple, and nut combination as shown. Two concentric bores, BB and CC, on the body fit into two shoulders, MM and NN, on the nipple. Only when these parts align can the threads of the nut and body engage securely. The inlet connection is fitted with a check valve like the high-pressure cylinder system to prevent reverse flow of gas from machine to the pipeline system. The pipeline also has filters the size of 100 micrometers to filter the gas. Just as the cylinder pressure indicators in high-pressure systems, pipeline pressure indicators measure pressure inside a pipeline system. It should read between 50 to 55 psig or 345 to 380 kilopascal. Pressure indicators are a requirement as per the anesthesia workstation standard. They are located in the panel in front of the machine and are colored coded and labeled with gas names. Pipeline indicators should always be checked before the use and repeatedly scanned during the use. The indicator should be located on the pipeline side of the check valve in the pipeline inlet and not downstream of the check valve. This is to ensure that the indicator reads only the pipeline pressure as the check valve prevents the backflow of gas from the cylinder system. If the indicator was installed downstream of the check valve, the gas flow from the open cylinder would be read by the pipeline indicator until suddenly the cylinder is exhausted. Piping are pipes used to connect components inside the machine. It must be able to withstand four times the intended service pressure. Leaks between the pipeline inlet or cylinder pressure reducing system and the flow control valve should not exceed 25 liters per minute. If the yoke and the pressure reducing system is included, the leakage may not exceed 150 liters per minute. The pneumatic portion of the master switch is located in the intermediate pressure system downstream of the inlets for cylinder and pipeline supplies. It's the switch that controls various components of both the electric and the pneumatic system. Electrical outlet and battery charger are active when the master switch is off an electrical component while when oxygen flush button of the pneumatic component is also independent of it and can be activated without the need to switch on the master switch. When the master switch is turned off, the pressure in the intermediate system will drop to zero. The master switch was also discussed in the electric component of the anesthesia machine in past video. One of the serious mishaps that occurred with the early anesthesia machine was the depletion of oxygen supply that resulted in the administration of 100% anesthetic gas leading to hypoxemia. An oxygen failure safety device and oxygen supply failure alarm are installations on anesthesia machine to make sure that the patient do not receive hypoxia gas in an event when the oxygen pressure reduces. Machine standard requires that whenever the oxygen supply pressure falls, the delivered oxygen concentration doesn't fall below 19% at common gas outlet. 
Different oxygen failure safety device technologies are used by different machine that controls the amount of nitrous oxide flow into the machine depending on the oxygen pressure. These are pressure sensor shutoff valve and oxygen failure protection device. The pressure sensor shutoff valve is used in machines like Datex Omega. It operates in a threshold manner, that is, the valve is either open or shut to allow the flow of nitrous oxide depending on the pressure of the oxygen supply pressure. In the diagram, A, below, oxygen pressure moves the pin and the piston up and opens the valve allowing the flow of nitrous oxide. When the oxygen pressure falls below the preset level as depicted in diagram B, the force of valve return spring closes the valve completely. The oxygen failure protection device used in Drager machine works on proportioning principle rather than a threshold principle where the pressure of nitrous oxide falls in proportion of the decrease in oxygen pressure. The diagram on the right illustrates a seat nozzle assembly connected to a spring-loaded conical tapered piston that adjusts the orifice through which the nitrous oxide flow. The two diagram on its left shows how the pressure of nitrous oxide is reduced as the oxygen supply pressure is reduced. The total cutoff is seen at pressure less than 12 psig. The machine standard also specifies that whenever the oxygen supply pressure falls below a manufacturer-specified threshold usually 30 psig, a medium priority alarm shall blow within 5 seconds. It should not be possible to disable this alarm. Older alarms like Ritchie's whistle used pressurized canister that is filled with oxygen when the anesthesia machine is turned on. When the oxygen pressure falls below certain value, the alarm directs the stream of oxygen through the whistle. Modern machines employ pressure-operated electric alarms, with Datex Omega triggering at 28 PSIG and Drager at 30 to 37 PSIG. The alarm helps preventing hypoxia caused by problems upstream in machine circuitry like disconnected oxygen hose. Low oxygen pressure in pipeline and depletion of oxygen cylinder. These devices do not offer protection against a hypoxic mixture being delivered because they do not prevent anesthetic gas from flowing if there is no flow of oxygen. Equipment problems like leak, operator error like closed or partially closed valve, accidental crossover on pipeline and cylinders are not prevented by this device. Some anesthesia machine has pressure regulators in the intermediate pressure system just upstream of the flow indicators. This regulators reduces the pressure further to around 26 psi or 177 kilopascals for nitrous oxide and 14 psi or 95 kilopascals for oxygen. They ensures that the pressure of the gas supplied to the flow indicators does not fluctuate. The flow through the flow meters remains constant when the pressure remains constant. The oxygen flush, also known as emergency oxygen bypass, receives oxygen from the pipeline inlet or cylinder pressure regulator and directs a high unmetered flow directly to the common gas outlet. It is commonly labeled O2 and is mounted on the front of the machine for easy accessibility. The self-closing, color-coded flush button is commonly recessed or placed in the collar to prevent accidental activation. On anesthesia machine, the oxygen flush can be activated regardless of whether the master switch is on or off. An oxygen flush valve can provide high flows of oxygen of 35 to 75 liters per minute at a pressure of about 60 psig directly to the common gas outlet bypassing the flow meters. It consists of a button and stem connected to spring-loaded ball. The ball is in contact with the seat. When the button is pressed, the ball is forced away from the seat, allowing the oxygen to flow through the outlet. The spring opposing the ball will close the valve when the button is not depressed. 
The O2 flush is commonly used to recharge the bellows in the case of a leak in the patient circuit or to rapidly purge the patient circuit of anesthetic gases in the event of an overdose of the anesthetic agent. However, there are hazards associated with the use of oxygen flush such as accidental activation which can cause dilution of anesthetics. The flush button can get stuck in, on, position causing barotrauma to the patient and internal leakage. These can lead to anesthesia awareness and wastage and pollution of the operation theater. Flow control valve regulates the flow of oxygen, air, and other gases to the flow meter or indicators. It can either be mechanical or electronic. Current standard requires that there be one flow control for each gas and it must be adjacent to or identifiable with its flow indicator. The mechanical flow control valve consists of body, stem and seat. The stem is connected to the flow control knob. The oxygen flow control knob is larger and fluted compared to others which are rounded. These knobs are sometimes protected behind the shield to minimize accidental change in position. They are also placed high above the working surface to lessen the likelihood of contact with objects on that surface. The flow control knobs are turned counterclockwise to open the gas flow in the flow meter and clockwise to close the gas flow. When the valve is closed or the knob is turned clockwise, the pin fits into a seat of metal and no gas flows. When the stem is turned counterclockwise, then an opening is created between the pin and the seat and gas starts flowing into the flow meter. There are stops for the closed position and maximum opening position which prevent damage to the pin or disengage the stem from the valve body respectively.